Does it ever happen with you when text on your resume looks cluttered or doesn't get aligned consistently and you get frustrated? If so, then this is the right video for you. I'm going to show you step by step how you can format your resume so that it is easy to scan for your recruiters or hiring matches. Let me tell you, this is so important. Being into talent acquisition, I know recruiters review several resumes in a day. And there are chances that some of your important information might get overlooked if your resume is not well formatted. And I'm pretty sure this is something which you wouldn't like to see with your resume, right? A resume is your brand document. It does the talking for you before you actually get a chance to chat in person. So stick around. I'll share my screen with you and show you how to format your resume well for readability and professional look. But before we get into details, for those who don't know me, I'm Nikita, a Shrem certified HR. I have over 15 years of experience in hiring professionals. In recruitment insights, I'm passionate about helping other recruiters and job seekers in reaching their career goals. With that being said, let's get started. All right, here's a simple resume that I'm going to format. This is a pre-look of a resume and you will see the difference how professional and readable it will look post-formatting. I'm going to use some of the key tools for formatting this resume. I have divided them into three sections. In section one, I'll show you how to set page margins and line spacing. Section two, we'll talk about the benefits of using grid lines and section three, I'll walk you through the ruler and uh, indents for setting tab stops. Okay, let's talk about page margins and line spacing first. I would say these are the two often underestimated tools that play a crucial role in creating a professional look. For setting page margins, go to layout menu, click margins under the page setup, go to custom margin. You will see that there are multiple options available which you can choose from, but I would recommend making it custom with one inch margins on all sides. So one inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. So we will make it 2.54 centimeter on all the sides. And hit OK. Now you can see the margin has increased. You may choose slightly smaller or larger margins based on your specific document requirement, your resume requirement. But ideally, as I said earlier, one inch is a standard which we should go by. The reason I'm saying if you go too extreme with smaller margins, then it may lead to a crowded and less readable document. So it's generally advisable to stick to a widely accepted ranges, which is one inch across all the sites. Next, you should adjust the line spacing by clicking on the paragraph tab. Under this, if you see this, this is for line and paragraph spacing. If you want to see what is the current line spacing, you can select paragraph and then see there's one as of now. And to make it readable, I would recommend making it 1.15 throughout. So select all and uh, make it 1.15. It will give a little bit space between lines. And again, it makes it more readable. See, if you just click here, you can see it's showing 1.15. It should be checked. That's how you can check that it's the correct line spacing you have for your document. Moving along in section two, you will see how grid lines under the view tab help in aligning your text so easily. For this, navigate to the view menu. And under the view menu, you will see that there is a show tab. Under that, you can click grid lines. And now when you hit grid lines, you will see a subtle grid line across the text. And this is what going to help you in aligning your text easily. This is really helpful. I use it often for formatting my documents or whenever I have to format my candidate's resume. This is something which comes handy. If you look here, you will see some of the text is going out of the, the grid line. So we have to make adjustments here. We have to just select it 
and drag it inside. And now you see that it is inside the grid line. And similarly, you will see that your dates are not toward the extreme right margin. We can either do it manually by pushing it toward the right margin, or there is another way which I'm going to explain you in just a moment with the help of ruler or by setting tab stops. But this is one way of doing it. Similarly, we have to check all other dates. Everything has to be aligned toward the right margin so that everything looks consistent. If it is going down, just take it back with a backspace and also make sure the hyphen, whichever hyphen you use in between, it should be same with rest of your date durations. You have to make similar changes here so that it looks consistent. All right. Okay. So now you see that everything is inside the grid line, and that's what we need to check on. You can bring your contact details if you want in the center by by aligning them center, home tab, and then going under the paragraph and make it aligned. You can change your first name and last name to uppercase so that it stands out. Also, you you have to see your headings. This should be consistent. If I look at this sample resume, some of the headings have capitalized words and the others are upper caps. So you have to make sure either you capitalize each word or you make it uppercase. So let's make it uppercase everywhere so that it looks consistent. You can push it toward the left margin for consistency. Now you see everything looks same. You have to just make sure that whatever format or whatever style you use, use it throughout. If you're not using colon next to job title or anywhere else, then don't use it under responsibilities as well. Make it consistent. Either you use it colon throughout or you don't use it altogether. Okay. All right, so this is the use of grid line. It comes really handy when we need to align our text within the grid line. It shows that nothing is going off the margin. Finally, let's see how the ruler can help in aligning bullet points. If you look here, see this bullet point is on the second checkbox, whereas the bullet point for your work experience is way inside the checkbox. It's way indented. Again, they are not consistent. It's at the fourth checkbox. It's at the third one. So we have to make it consistent, right? So one way of doing it is with the help of ruler. So if you want to keep it this way, the way it is done under the professional summary, and you want to align the rest of the bullet points, with professional summary, then you have to do one thing. Just select this paragraph and make sure that this is the second checkbox. So we have to hit here at the left indent and then take it to the second checkbox. Now you see that they are aligned. Similarly, we have to align these bullet points with the previous one. Again, you have to just select the left intent and take it here. You will see now they are consistent. And similarly here, select all and take it a little bit here. Now they all are consistent. And I would also suggest that bullet your educations under the education tab. You can bullet them inside. Now you see that they, they are way inside. So we have to align them as well with the help of ruler. 
Okay. All right. So I see the education. We can make it extreme and make it all uppercase as we did for the others. All right. So you will see that everything is consistent now. All right. You can reduce the space as well. It's not required that much. Yeah, here also we don't need that much space. So just make sure we have same spacing throughout. Okay. All right. Next, I will talk about step stops. There are two different ways of adjusting your dates toward the right margin. One we did uh, sometime before where we manually drag it toward the right margin. Another way of doing it is by by setting the tab stops. Let me show you how you can do that. So I'm just taking it back to show you how we can do it. Go to the extreme left-hand corner and just keep clicking on this until you see this right tab. Do you see this right tab? And just make sure you have your right tab all the way toward the extreme right margin. And now when you hit tab, your date will straight up go toward the end. All right. So that, that's another way of doing it. Again, one important thing, I see several resumes, sometimes with period at the end of the statement and some without period. So whatever way you choose, make it consistent. Either you put period at the end of each statement or you take it off altogether. I would say take it off altogether and then make it consistent. And one last important thing that you should not forget is doing a grammar check so that you can get rid of these blue lines and red lines and make it look professional. And now you can remove this grid line and ruler if you want. See how professional it looks now. I hope you got some useful tips out of it. Try using these easy but powerful tools and you will see the difference on your document. I hope this helps. See you next time.